contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Let me share your love and grace in all I do. Interesting, handsome, and beautiful lady in the house with us tonight. 
Um, we're going to get to know them just a bit more in a little while. And as usual, we have a lot in store for you. Now, I, I could see some of you couldn't wait for 7 to the Friday to tune in. And as over the years, over the months, we have become a nice, big, happy family where we share the Sabbath, we share in God's blessings, we sing, we worship, and we share. And tonight, indeed, is going to be no different. So, buckle up your seatbelt. We have a lot in store for you. Our program officially tonight, Elandi is going to do the opening prayer for us. All right, wherever you are, let us bow our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, it's a great privilege to be in the land of the living. But this evening, as we celebrate another Sabbath, we give you all the praise and the thanks. We thank you for a wonderful program like this where we can come and share and learn from each other. We pray that you would bless us here and even those who are tuning in with us. Cover us with your blood. And may the topic and the whole message tonight be a blessing to each and every one of us. We ask these mercies as we trust in Jesus. Amen. 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 All right, friends. Um, no, no, I'm guessing some of you may be wondering, who is this young lady? Who is this young man? Um, who is this young man? We have two handsome gentlemen and a very beautiful young lady. And of course, um, I know you want to know something about them. So we are going to start with the, the rose among the thorns. Tell us something about yourself. Hi to everyone. Happy Sabbath to you. My name is Alanda Joseph. I am the Roy SDA Church. Currently, I am the head AY leader. So, tonight is a pleasure to be present here to witness in this program. So, I trust that everything I say may be according to God's will, and I trust that you'll be blessed at the end. Amen. And uh, it's our first time here. So I pray that you're going to treat her well tonight, make her feel welcome, mm -hmm. and um, it's a privilege to have Grandma in the house tonight. Um, mm -hmm. To my left, we have um, another handsome gentleman. Want to tell us something about yourself? Hi, good night. I'm Travis Hall. Um, I attend the St. John Seventh-day Adventist Church in Ashville Avenue. Um, I'm an elderly trainer at that church. All right. So that's a little bit of myself. Amen. And the gentleman is smartly dressed in green. <laughs> Let him tell us something about himself. Uh, my name is Andy Paul, um, from the Moya Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's kind of strange being like this because I'm usually at Crusade right. most of the time, um, doing promoting Bible working, but um, it's really a pleasure to be here and um, to join so many of my friends online as we share with this program this evening. Amen. Amen. Now friends, we have a big challenge for you before we start tonight. For the next one minute, we want to light up Facebook for Jesus tonight. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have a countdown in 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Every single person viewing the night, you are going to share the page with at least 50 contacts. Are you ready? You ready? Yep. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. All right, let's come down together. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's share now. With at least 50, I'm sharing now. One. Two, three, four. How much you share so far, Charis? About ten. About ten. All right, we're just sharing the page like crazy. Tonight, we want to give Satan a headache on Facebook. We have a very, very interesting topic for you, and we want all your friends to tune in, participate, and be, you know, enriched and nourished tonight. So we're sharing. We have 30 more seconds remaining. Just share. Just share. Just share. Let them know that something has happened that they cannot miss out tonight. Just share that page. Invite a friend. Send a comment. Share a post on Facebook. Tonight we want to represent for Jesus in a big way. You know, many times persons use social media to bring glory to the enemy, to Satan. But tonight, we want to big up Jesus in the house Amen. as we share Adventist Youth Life. Wonderful. All right, I think we have just about 10 more seconds there. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. All right, we're doing well tonight. Not tonight, we just want to spend just about 30 seconds bigging up our online audience. Sister Alanda, just call the name just on the screen there. Who we have there? Well, I can see Vicky Cato. All right. All right. Venus Bramble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what Tati said? Nicole D. Alexander. Uh -oh. Thank you for joining. What Bramble said? Bramble says, 
already shared my quota. All right, so we shared this 50 contacts already. Mm -hmm. Let's go up. And who we have there, brother Travis? We have Kareem Strode. He's from St. George's, St. David's Churches as me. All right. <laughs> Valentina Paris, uh -huh. she says, Happy Sabbath, please sing number 34. <laughs> we, ha we have Jared, we have Stanley, we have Ina Alexander, we have Kathy Kumabach. Uh -huh. We have Everybody Spice, Lady Brave Boy. Uh -huh. We have Barbara St. Louis. Uh -huh. We have Brandon Joseph. We have Sylvia Lalit. We have Gamber Malcolm, one of our hosts as well. Mm -hmm. We have Deborah mm -hmm. Spooner. We have Olga, Gavin, Lindsay. We have Desiree Williams from Grand Royal as well. Yeah. We have Daniel Miller. That looks like Pastor Miller. Mm -hmm. All right, Pastor Miller in the house. Happy Sabbath. Nice to have you. We have, we have there? Kisha Cyrus. We uh -huh. have Sylvia Lati. La, 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 la Lit. All right, all right. We have Sheena Francois. Sheena Francois. Jason Charles. Giselle Fletcher. Mm -hmm. Jason Charles. Tirona Lashington. We have Kel Batiste, we have Rakisha Clark, and we have against this Alanda. We have Hannah Pascal. Hannah Pascal, all right. Mm -hmm. So we have a full house tonight, and to all those of you who just tuned in, we say welcome, happy Sabbath, and we know that you're going to enjoy your stay with us tonight. So I hope that yeah. we drank some lime, some honey. But Andy, yes. we know that you deal with the bees and honey, and we are about to sing and lift up the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we're asking that you play your truth, send in your requests. Um, I see that we have some persons who have already sent in the request. And tonight we're getting ready to sing as we lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. And um, our first song, which comes from Kelly, is sing number 440. How cheering is the Christian's hope. I really like this song because when the men sing their parts, All especially right. at communion, you yes. the song so good. All right. Yes. Thank you. 
song, you know. Yes. You know, in USC in Cedar Hall, that was what we were called the Anthem there, man. Right. We sing it on special occasions and, you know, we don't ever want to part again and we look forward to that day. Amen. <laughs> and we know Kimo is drawing closer one of his favorite songs. You know, yeah. a land of pure delight. Never 
repart again, no, never part again. As we get ready to take our next song, we just want to take some time to big up some of our viewing audience. We have Sherry Augustine Wilson, we have Stedlin Isaac, we have Rhea Sylvester from Grand Mall, we have Gami Randy saying, What? Never part again, yes. We have Frankie Noel, happy Sabbath to you. I'm seeing Pastor Charles, we have Joel and Peters, and there are many more of our friends tuning with us tonight. We have Shane Foray, Judy Ross. Cassia Alexander, Dalisha Lambert, we have Esther Kanhai, we have Vicky Cato, she said in her request, Claudia Lewis, Amen. Shani Chatterton, and the list goes on. Friends, we are happy to have you. Rachel Jerome Graham, um, we also have Heroilyn Joseph, Francis Hamlet, Naisha Jeremiah, Apple Spy, we have Stanley Boyce, we have, who else we have? Who else we have? All right, and we have Keisha Joseph, who is joining with us. And we, we have Merlin McDonald. Wow, we have Nicole Alexander. We have a lot of friends in the house tonight. Amen. And throughout the program, we're going to be just acknowledging you, sharing greetings. And after we have our song service, we have a 20-second segment where you'll have your chance to send greetings to your fellow online viewers. So look out for that. And our next song, uh, Brother Travis, we, what song are we going to be singing next? All right, so our next song is 193. All right. And that comes from Shanna. Right. One, nine, three. And while we get ready to sing, remember our challenge tonight. We just lighting up Facebook for Jesus. So send it as you know to many as many contacts um, that you have on your Facebook account. Amen. Um, send it to WhatsApp, Instagram, wherever it be, YouTube. You know we want to be all over for Jesus tonight. And tonight we have a power pack topic as per usual. So we asking that you invite all your friends and family to tune in. Amen. Channel, we thank you, Channel, for introducing us to that new song. You have a request. All right, we have one from Alanda. Make your request known. My request is song number 412, Cover with His Blood. All right, so wonderful. Look Amen. up on Jesus. Oh, yes, sinless is He. Mm -hmm. 412. <laughs> Oh 
Thank you. 
Sorry, Philip joining, Michael Kimo. Yeah. We have Richard Holas. Good night. Happy Sabbath. Karina Cooper. Uh, Denver Morning Star. Who we have again, Brother Travis? Kel Batiste. Rondell Alexander. Uh -huh. Eric Henry. Right. Tawana Joseph. Okay. Clint Gooden. Go on. Valentina Paris. We have our next one. Ethelyn Radix. Uh -huh. Stedlin Isaac. Then right. Roy Williams. Oh, yes. We have everybody in. Today. We have everybody. And we have Wendy Shares. Great job, guys. Happy Sabbath to you, my dear friend. We have room for one more song. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to sing that with all that we have. And it's coming from who, brother? Andy. Coming from Brandon. 439. 439. 439. Oh, that's, yes. That's, that's one of my favorite songs. Yeah? Yeah. I love that song. So I want to hear you in a special way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that song so it's not always all that song that's not a special song. We're gonna give Brother Andy the opportunity to no, 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 sing the first and the You don't know when I'm making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think you just shied away from it, man. We would love to hear him sing. Yeah, yeah, I would love to hear that first stanza, man. Yeah, we'll do that next week. Next week? Yeah, yeah.
has brought us to the end of our wonderful song service. Amen. Now we're going to have a very exciting segment right now. Now you have the opportunity to send greetings to all your family members, all your friends, um, probably a special person in your life. You want to say happy Sabbath. You want to express a nice word of gratitude, of thanks and affirmation. The opportunity starts in 10 seconds. So get your fingers ready to type. And we just send in greetings across the screen short cyber world short cyberspace and we're going to be appreciating our online audience probably your family members your church members a significant other the time starts in 10 seconds brother andy stand the countdown for us 10 9 8, eight 7 6, 6 5 4 3, 3 2, 2 1 send them in all right, who's going to be first? We send in greetings tonight. Kiruna Lashington sends greetings to the whole Southwestern District. All right, that's a mouthful right there in one. Yeah. And we know that Sister Joseph is from mm -hmm. the Southwestern District. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have the Dutton family. All right, mm -hmm. who we have again? We have the Baptist family. <laughs> <laughs> and Brother Hamlin. <laughs> Brother Hamlin. We have Ben Don saying happy Sabbath. We have the Lashingtons. Lashingtons. All right. Who we have again? Who we have again? Happy Sabbath to the Gordon family. Oh no, is that boy? Alright, thank you very much, <laughs> Happy Sabbath to you. Who we have, have again? We have somebody with a very good name. Travis. Happy Sabbath to all. So all right. we all get the greeting. Um Moses, happy Sabbath everyone. Who we have the brother Andy? Edwin Ed Radix. Happy uh -huh. Sabbath. To the Radix family. Alright. Anderson Joseph. Happy Sabbath. All right, send them in, send them in. Uh huh. Martha Linda, happy Sabbath to Okage members. Mm. Said Lucia. Mm. Said Lucia. Lucia in the house. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Keep them going. Francis Hamlet, happy Sabbath to my wife, Bernadine Hamlet. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> saying happy Sabbath to Kimo. All right. Um, happy Sabbath family. Rhonda sending happy family, Sabbath to his family. All right, they're coming in, they're coming in. Somebody's still sending their greetings. Um, 100. All right. Happy Sabbath to him. 100. <laughs> Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, unto me. Yes. Happy um, Sabbath. From Patrick. From yeah. Grandma. Yes. Mm -hmm. Grandma. Uh, my uncle from America saying Happy Sabbath. Norman Price. Yes. To, to you, Travis. Sister Landy. Yeah. All right. We have somebody sending greetings to Sister Landy. Hello, Tirola. We have me, Bonnie Williams. And wow, that's an interesting name. Let's, let's who. See who she's sending greetings from. Happy Sabbath to the Hamilton and yeah. Williams family. I, I think I know who is that. Mm. <laughs> no, I won't call the name. What, what else we have there? Sending greetings. We have the um, Sister Alanda. We have Dolisha Lambert Henry. Uh -huh. She's saying happy Sabbath to the family in Subi, the Richmond folks tune in, and to Brother Andy. All right. Wish I had some honey for the school, Brother Andy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we and have again. Olga Garvin Lindsay. Yeah. Happy Sabbath to Ina Alexander, who is vacationing in New York. All right. Happy Sabbath. Yes, Shelly Shelly Hosten. Hosten. Happy Sabbath to mm -hmm. Grand B. Yes, I right. know Shelly Hosten. Nice, nice. Shana Francois, happy Sabbath to the River Sally SD church members. All right. Happy Desmond Sabbath Williams, to you. happy Sabbath to also the Williams and the Hamilton family. All right. Then we have Seville MC Francis. He said good night, Pastor Gordon. Happy Sabbath. I feel special. <laughs> happy Sabbath to you too. And we have Keisha Cyrus. Right. Happy Sabbath to Victoria SDA family. All right, Victoria. Claudia Lewis. Mm -hmm. Happy Sabbath to Sister Agnes Andrew out there in the Big Apple. That's Sister Claudia. Yes, Sister Claudia. Sister Claudia, nice to have you. Mm -hmm. Stanley Boyce. Mm -hmm. to Genesis Boyce and Joel Boyce in Barbados. All right. Mm -hmm. We have a here. Vicky Kato. Greetings uh -huh. to all my SD friends in Grenada from SVG all and right. all the members of Mount Granby Church. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Ray Raymond Joseph. Sabbath blessings to all members of the Rose. Rose Home, SDA Church in Dominica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have a little Commonwealth Caricom thing there. Mm -hmm. We have a Venus Lucia. What we have again? Dominica. Mm -hmm. St. Vincent. Yes. We mm -hmm. have from the Big Apple and Hall. All right. We also have. Tonya Joseph Schultz from Guyana, that's my sister. Right. And she said, Happy Sabbath to the Joseph family of the Southwestern District, Sister right. Landy. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> good job, Pastor Gordon. Happy Sabbath, my dear. Good night, sis. We have Shani Ch
-hmm. and to the Peters in Grenada. That's Pastor Peters and his dear wife and their daughter. And um, his mother-in-law is the Valentina Palace. We have um, Katia and Maras. Mm -hmm. Happy Sabbath to all my brothers and sisters. We have Sharon Daniel. Happy right. good Sabbath. Kelvin Dragon. Uh, uh, a common here as well. Yeah. Happy Sabbath from Keisha and Kevin and Baby Gabby. Mm -hmm. I want to say congratulations on the entrance of your new baby, Baby Gabby. Amen. And with Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. Yeah. Happy home. Yes. Yeah. Shelly Hosen says, hey Landy, B and Shirley, they're watching. We have Barbara St. Louis, nice, so you're watching. Nice to have you. Um, good night to Sister Khan, hi, Sister Stedlin, Randy, Pastor Gordon, good night to you. Wendy Gill says, happy Sabbath to all, blessed night. All right. Sharon Daniel saying, happy Sabbath to you all, especially the pianist. All right, and that's his mother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Image, all right. Good to have you, Sister Sharon. We have Indra to the Marinata con congregation, happy Sabbath. Yeah. Happy Sabbath, Val G, mm. Shirley and Hamlet. Happy Sabbath, Raphael Charles, members of Jackson SD Church in Barbados, mm -hmm. especially Jen Jen coming from Mr. Charles. All right, Jen Jen, whoever you are, a lot of love coming your way. Yeah. Alma, Ariel, Patrick, happy Sabbath, Pastor Jamie. Sister Alma, happy Sabbath. Oji yeah. Sensei, which is good night and happy Sabbath. Jason Charles, pleasant Sabbath from Grenada. And show that to every one of you. Yeah, that's Pastor Charles right there. Good to have you. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Lalit, all right. Marinata Grandans. We have from Texas and all. Nice man. So we have a, a lot of persons represented in the building, and I feel a lot of love. You know, yes. many persons are, are sending in their different requests, mm -hmm. and we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for yes. sharing the love. Mm -hmm. You know, indeed, indeed, we feel it. Amen. Not tonight, um, just to briefly introduce our topic. Um, it's a topic that many persons, um, they approach it with fear. Mm -hmm. You know, Brother Andy, when some people hear the word, they tremble. Mm -hmm. um, some people think that it's a make-believe word. Some people doubt it. It's just um, a fable. Some people don't really care. Um, some people like to approach it with the Bible, with the power of God. And tonight, our topic is Spiritism. Now, you might be wondering what sort of obia topic we're going to bring up here tonight. <laughs> um, but we want to show you that Spiritism comes in many different forms. It affects us in um, all, everything that we have around us, the environment, the atmosphere, conversations, the media, um, the places we go, and uh, even simple gadgets we have, clothes that we wear, brand names, different practices, um, probably even um, fables and folk clothes and customs coming from our grandparents and foreparents, you know, but we practice them and we want to show the link between all these things and the topic of spiritism. So fasten your seatbelt. We have a, a mouthful in store for you, yes. and I'm sure I can see many of you might be curious in terms of what we have to say tonight. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you have questions and comments yourself, so we are about to get into that shortly. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, we're going to have our quiz, and okay. Travis will lead us um, in that endeavor. All right, so for our quiz, our first question is, fill in the blanks from Leviticus 19.31, regard not them that have blank blank two words neither seek after blank one word to be defiled by them blank 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 six words so Leviticus 1931 mm -hmm. regard not them that have blank blank two words neither seek after blank one word to be defiled, to be defiled by them blank 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 six words mm -hmm. That's a serious one there. All right. And while we wait on a response, we have Sister Scott. Happy Sabbath from the Scott family. Happy Sabbath to you guys. Mm -hmm. And we also have Agnes Andrew to Sister Claudia Lewis, um, Sister Landy, and the rest of the brethren from Grand Roy. We say happy Sabbath to you as well. Amen. So who's going to be the first responder to our first question? We have many blanks to fill in. Reading from Leviticus 19 and verse 31. All right, Brother Travis, you want to repeat it again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Although it's on the screen, though, but I'll repeat it again. Leviticus 19, 31, and it reads, Regard not them that have blank, blank, two words, neither seek after blank, one word, to be defined by them, blank, 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 blank. Six words. All right. Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> it, should, it shouldn't be that hard, but let's see 
who will be our first responder tonight. Now we have persons, you know, usually flocking the quiz. And let's see who's going to be our first person tonight. All right, Joel Walcott, happy Sabbath from Guyana. It's good to have you. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope you enjoy the rest of our programming. All right, question number one. All right, so we have them there. Yes. First responder, apple spies. And she's saying, Brother Travis. So we have familiar wizards. I am the Lord, your God. All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's it, basically. That's mm -hmm. basically. All right. So apples, pies, got it correct. She got it. All right. Yeah. We have some people coming in. All right. Question number two. We're moving along quite quickly. Did Saul vi visit the blank in First Samuel twenty-eight? And we have A, mm -hmm. B, C, D. We have the witch of N. Dior. B, the witch of N. Dor. C, the witch of N. Der. <laughs> and D, the witch of N, da. <laughs> which one is correct? A, B, C, or D? We have C, the witch of N, da. D, E, R. <laughs> All right, uh, is that correct? We have Tirona, the witch of N, da. So the answer is B. That is correct. The witch of N, da. N, da. <laughs> we have um, Randall Wilson getting that as well. All right, number three, Sister Landy. Number three. Now, a man or a woman who is a medium or a spiritist shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood guiltiness is upon them. Where is this verse taken from? So, I'll repeat. Now, a man or a woman who is a medium or a spiritist shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood guiltiness is upon them. Where is this verse taken from? Good question. Mm -hmm. And we have some persons responding to the previous question, all these, <laughs> and indeed you are correct. That's right, D, 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 Amen. yeah. On Stacey, post it. All right, so who's gonna to respond to question number three? And we're looking at where is that verse taken from. And we have it there on the screen. And somebody responded. Around there, we'll say that, Andy. They said Leviticus 20, 27. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, that's, that's more like it. All right. Amen. And that, that's more like it. Yeah, nice. That's wonderful. I would, have, I would have given him a clue, but um, the guy got it. <laughs> oh, he got it. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you, you, you could do the next one for us. The number four. Mm -hmm. The number four says, fill in the blanks for Leviticus 20 and verse 6. All right. As for the person who turns to blank, that is one word, and to blank, that is another word, after them, I will also set my face against that person and will cut him off from among his people. Mm. Uh, it's very interesting, very easy question. So um, let me just repeat it while the answers are on there. We, uh, question number four, fill in the blanks for Leviticus 20 and verse 6. As for the person who turns to blank, that's one word, and to blank, that's another word, mm -hmm. after them, I will also set my face against that person and will cut him off from among his people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be your first responder to that question? Question number four. And we have some blanks to fill in there. I can help them. The first blank is one word. That's the clue. The first blank is one word. The first blank is one word. All right. All right. Let's keep them coming. Let's keep them coming. Let's fill in those blanks. And we have Keisha Cyrus. And we have the entire text there. Eh? We give it to we give it right for that? No, that, 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 no, we want we want the word. <laughs> we want the word, alright. Okay, what go that then, Kisha? Yeah. Yeah, one. Uh wizards. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's that's the first one. Uh-huh. 
On the second one, we have familiar spirit. We have three, one word blank, so fill in the K, JV is different. Mm -hmm. and, but, but we're going to take whatever is, is the equivalent there. Yeah. So we have wizards, um, is that correct, we, we said? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, and to play the song, we're looking forward to play the, after them, I will also set my face against that person. So we just, um, we're missing a third blank. Some in the space, wizards, uh-huh and to play the something. What's that blank day? Alvin Thomas just saying hi. Alright. Yes. Hi, hi Alvin. <laughs> Alright, someone wants to give us the answer? In the interest of time, what's the final blank? Somebody said whore. Alright. Is that correct? Yes. That's correct. That's correct. So we go back to Brother Travis. All right. five. So the fifth question is, true or false? Revelation 16, 14 says, the Spirit of God will be poured out working miracles. True or false? Revelation 16, 14 says, the Spirit of God will pour out working miracles. True or false? This should be an easy question, man. <laughs> Somebody says go. Um, I think it's supposed to be true or false. <laughs> but let's try it though. I think it's false. Alright, who's going to be true or false? Revelation 16 14. Okay. Somebody says false, wrong up. And yeah. true is saying true. The answer is false. False. Alright. So we go to number 6 true or false? After Samuel's death. Saul removed some of the people that were mediums and spiritists. True or false? After Samuel's death, Saul removed some of the people that were mediums and spiritists. True or false? Alright, so let's see who's going to be our first responder. We have Tiruna coming in. She says, I'm not too sure which one she's in this one into. It's the first one or this one. <laughs> Alright, we have that. Um, I'm guessing that's one of the previous questions as well. So we have Richard Jerome Graham. I'm false, so I'm thinking that they responded to that question. And indeed it is false. You removed not so much. Oh. oh. <laughs> and she's at number seven. Alright. In Isaiah 8 19, what is Isaiah's recommended response to people? Who say unto you, Consult the mediums and the spirits who whisper and mutter. I repeat, in Isaiah 8 19, what is Isaiah's recommended response to people who say unto you, Consult the mediums and the spirits who whisper and mutter? All right, who's going to be the first one there? We have number seven. Isaiah 8 19. What's the response? All right, I guess that will just sink in, and that's good. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. be too long, though. I think they think there's an exam right now. Yeah? <laughs> All right, the final question for tonight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we have Rondell Wilson. How does it say, Sister Landy? Rhonda says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Is that true? Is that correct? That's what you are really looking for, but that is correct. For your effort. But, 
Yeah. Now I'm going to correct yeah. answer yeah. to the question. Yes. So we're looking within this specific text. There is a response given there. Yes. So I was asking for an answer. See God. Yeah, see God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not the people from so they call it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, see God. And even as we, we looked at the quiz, we, we see there that um, there are many um, aspects of spiritism, wizards, we have sorceries, um, and all these sorts of things that have gone way back then, all the way back then. Mm-hmm. And um, they still exist today. Mm-hmm. They might not have the, the pointy hat, Brother Andy, or maybe flying on a broom, mm-hmm. or looking like a witch, but you know, they might be walking among us. Mm-hmm. And even as we say, different activities where you know, spiritism exists, and we want to share them a little deeper. But that is time we ask that you stay tuned as we have a video for your viewing pleasure. That the armed forces must work hand in hand with the church. One, because you need God's guidance and protection in executing your work. For some aspects of it is not in the realm of the natural. Listen to me now. <laughs> Let me illustrate that. I was called to a particular community. I was told about a particular community some years ago. Where big stones were falling on somebody's house at a particular hour. If it's 7 o'clock, the stone fell exactly the same. So I, I'm a preacher. I say, I'm going and see. So I left and I drove to that community. And when I got there, a lot of people standing in the road and police officers are there. They told me what time the stone fell. It's 7 o'clock. And we all there waiting. Exactly 7. Boom! stops. And it's no small stone. It's huge stones. And pull this out over. Where is the stone coming from? Pull this can solve that one. Without God. Pull this can solve that one before without God. That's why I'm saying to you today, you need God. Then they called me, told me about a young lady who is causing obscenity as if it's another language. What do the police do? Arrest her? Bad what she's going to give you. Obscenity. So I went there. When I got there, they told me, Master, it's not a woman talking on the hoyer. It's a man cussing a word from a woman. What do the police do? <laughs> you see, not all those things that are in the realm of the physical. But your work calls you there. How do you deal with that? Huh? That the armed forces must work hand in hand with the church. One, because you need God's guidance and protection in executing your work. For some aspects of it is not in the realm of the natural. Listen to me now. <laughs> Let me illustrate that. I was called to a particular community. I was told about a particular community some years ago. Where big stones were falling on somebody's house at a particular hour. If it's 7 o'clock, the stone fell exactly 7. So I, I'm a preacher. I say, I'm going and see. So I left and I drove to that community. And when I got there, a lot of people standing in the road and police officers are there. They told me what time the stone the fall, the seven o'clock. And we all there waiting. Exactly seven. Boom! 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 And then it stops. And it's no small stone. It's huge stones. And pull this out over. Where is the stone coming from? Pull this can solve that one. We told God. Pull this.
is coming. Beginning August 19, 2018 in Plain St. Patrick, right next to the Plains Roundabout, under the big green and white tent. The Northern Zone of the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists presents The King is Coming Gospel Explosion 2018 with young and dynamic evangelist Pastor Shonis Isidore. The crusade with a different, press centered, family oriented, youth focused, accompanied by the power of the Holy Spirit. Questions answered, political mayhem. In a world filled with challenges as never seen before. Time 7 p.m. nightly. Sabbath 9 a.m. Come, lay your burdens at the feet of the cross. Come and be blessed. Come, Come meet the, the King. King. Beginning August 19, 2018 in Plain St. Patrick, right next to the Plains Roundabout, under the big green and white tent. The Northern Zone of the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists presents The King is Coming Gospel Explosion 2018 with young and dynamic evangelist Pastor Shonis Isidore. The crusade with a different, press-centered, family-oriented, youth-focused, accompanied by the power of the Holy Spirit. Questions answered. Political mayhem. In a world filled with challenges as never seen before. Time, 7 p.m. nightly. Sabbath, 9 a.m. Come, lay your burdens at the feet of the cross. Come and be blessed. Come, Come meet the, the King. King. Beginning August 19, 2018 in Plain St. Patrick, right next to the Plains Roundabout, under the big green and white tent. The Northern Zone of the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists presents The King is Coming Gospel Explosion 2018 with young and dynamic... Welcome back to Youth Life Unplugged. Mm -hmm. um, we had a very interesting video there and we had um, some beautiful singing from the sisters, you know, coming from Grand Roy, the Southwestern District. And we are very happy to have them representing here tonight, showing in the giftedness. And indeed, the melody was very sweet, beautiful voices. And we are thankful to God, you know, for the ministry of music. Now, at this time, we have just a bit of promotions. You just saw it there, Pastor Isado and the districts of the North and the Northeastern districts, they are teaming up for a mega evangelistic campaign. And there are some other evangelistic campaigns in the pipeline, the same date as well, August the 19th. So we have one at the Plains Roundabout, and we'll be having another one on the Western District. Uh, that's going to be done by Pastor Red Bus Philbert. And there should be one starting in the Eastern 2 District as well at um, the, the Union Playing Field. And you're going to hear much more about that. Now friends, there is coming a grand annual activity on Monday, and you cannot afford to miss it. Now, as a church, as a Seventh-day Adventist church, we put a lot of focus on our youth. And every year we have a sporting activity. And it's not just about sports and running and having fun, but it's about fellowship. It's that time of the year when youth from all over the country gather together. And we have good, clean fun. We know that we have um, the festive season. It's in the air. There are many temptations, many distractions. But the annual sports, they provide a wholesome outlet. You know, for the energies of our youth. And we'll be having all manner of sports and activities. You cannot afford to miss it. So ensure that your district is represented. Ensure that you register. Ensure that you sign up. Pastors, we are begging you. Rally your troops as we gather together. River Sally, August 6th, Monday, 9 a.m. Sharper than a razor blade. And our next promotion comes from... Um, well, let's see if they'll beat the Southern District because we've been undefeated for months. <laughs> all right, all right. So we have one person saying the Southern District has been undefeated. But let's see. You never know what could happen on, on, that, um, on that day on Monday. I've been getting um, a lot of faces, so I guess, I don't know. A lot of faces, yes. <laughs> but we don't want to listen to the chats right now. Come Monday and let's put it to the test. Now, friends, August the 25th. That is another date that you cannot afford to miss. As a matter of fact, open your diary right now, write it in red, put a bookmark, bend the page, put it on your phone, put it on your alarm clock. You cannot afford to miss it. Now, it's a youth extravaganza, we want to call it like that. And the poster says, it's a day of youthful vibes. Mm -hmm. Now, in the morning, 
will be celebrating the second year anniversary of Youth Life. Oh. In the afternoon, we'll be having our Bible Connect finals with young persons show the island. You know, we'll be engaging in a nice friendly rivalry in terms of the books of the Bible. We'll be looking at Matthew, we'll be looking at Mark, we'll be looking at Desire of Ages 6 to 15, and we'll be choosing a representative to represent Grenada in terms of the union final. So everyone is going to be out there. The venue is going to be forthcoming in just a little bit, but please mark the day, August the 25th, the entire day. Now, coming from the IAPA bookstore, now I'm telling you, friends, God has blessed this church with literature. Mm -hmm. There are many wholesome positive books that we can read for your family, for your relationships, um, for your mental health, um, for your physical health, um, for your spiritual journey with God, for young people, for couples, for middle age, for children. And right now, they have some specials. Uh, we are not here just to promote a business, but we are here to pro promote wholesome content that you can get your hands on. We know that children and the young people are on holiday, and we want some good books to read. So visit the iPad St. George's, visit us here at Grand Bra, and get your hands on some good books that can be a blessing to your family. Our next promotion, um, that Sabbath, we'll be having at St. David's a Youth in Focus Community Guest Day. Now that's the, the time schedule for our youth day. And also in Victoria, we'll be having a youth day as well. And all persons are invited to come out, support, and just enjoy that youthful vibes that the youth day brings. Um, even that same um, program at St. David's in the afternoon, they'll be looking at spiritual gifts. And if you are not sure what your spiritual gift is or your spiritual gifts are, they have an inventory that can help you to identify your calling, you know, that God has placed on your life. Um, of course, it looks like an event that we cannot afford to miss. Now, finally, we have Pathfinder's Day. Um, now, that's coming up sometime in September. And it's that day, it's that day on the calendar, the calendar of events for the year. When, you know, the Pathfinders and the Master Guide, they are all dressed in uniform. Um, they'll be promoting the, the youth work. Um, young persons will be preaching, young persons will be leading, young persons will be singing. You know, it's going to be a day of order. It's going to be a day when we see the militant side of, of our church, you know, as they're dressing their khaki and their white and their green and their beret and their scarves. As we look at a youthful army, and Miss White says, with such uh, an army of youth rightly trained, indeed yeah. we know that you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. So friends, you cannot afford to miss any of these activities. And of course, the Pathfinder Day is slated for September the 15th. So I'm guessing that you're going to hear more from your local church, your local youth leader, as these events roll on. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for taking note. Now, just a while ago, we heard a video friend from the president. And um, he was actually addressing the, the police officers. You know, we usually have a day every year when we invite all the uniform personnel. We show appreciation for the service. And then the president was relaying a, a particular scenario um, where a demon-possessed girl was, was causing obscenities mm -hmm. and they called the police. Mm -hmm. And the president was asking the police, what could the police do? Mm -hmm. Could they arrest her? Could they jail her? Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes we, we, we try to fight spiritual problems in the physical realm. Mm -hmm. And I think he was trying to bring across the point that when it comes to spiritual battles, you know, even the police officers, they need to turn to God. And I believe that that's a good introduction for our topic tonight. Now we have a, as a passage that would guide us tonight. And I'm going to ask Sister Alana to read that for us. Coming from Deuteronomy chapter 18, uh, verses 10 to 11. If you have your Bibles with you, we ask that you stay true with us as well. Mm -hmm. Alright. It says, There shall not be found among you, Anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices witchcraft, or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omen.
What do you think? Sometimes we do. Um, we've had several cases, in, especially among the Christian world, where individuals resort to some form of spiritism. Mm. And um, to be exact, this, I, I, I really like to look at spiritism in the light of, of the Greek controversy. Right. And in every age, Satan is adjusting spiritism to make it look more friendly all the time. Mm, interesting. So some of the things that you used to resort to before, you have more subtle activities that you do, and it makes you feel as if you can do it and still be a Christian. Right. You right. see? So um, quite a number of individuals in the Christian realm are actually getting involved in spiritism and not even being aware of it. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, uh, I like what you said, um, there are some persons who might be involved that they are not aware. They are not aware. But are there Christians who are aware of what they are doing in terms of the, the, the spiritism side of it? What, what do you think? I believe so. Because I've heard stories of Christians mm -hmm. away, not in Greenland per se, but like while I was studying in Barbados. Um, they would go to some like high class meetings they yeah. called like um you know, high class meetings. Yeah, yeah. Where they will meet other high class people right. and involve themselves into spiritism. Mm. I think it's to get wealth or oh. to get um noticed or certain things. They yeah, do it fame. for certain fame yeah, and so on. Yeah, yeah. So it has been known to a lot of Christians that there are Christians in our church right. doing it. Right. Not necessarily here but Oh, we. Mm -hmm. And before we go back to some of the questions, we want to know, um, just say hello to Mikiel Lawrence. He's saying God blessings to the viewers and everybody. Mm -hmm. And we want to say, you know, thanks for joining in and thanks for your greeting. Yes. And to our online audience, we ask him a question. Although God forbids, you know, any form of obedience. God and go to the evil side. Why? I would say maybe because God wasn't answering the prayers they wanted it to, like the way they wanted it to be answered. Like, right. for instance, God was saying, "No, I will not give you this car. You've been asking for this car for a while." Right. And you know they would want this car so much that they'll go to the other side in order to get what they want. Mm -hmm. So that could be a reason why Christians would go to the other side to get. You know, right. things that God would not allow them to get. Right. So sometimes, you know, God is not giving them what they want, so they seek the other side. Mm -hmm. Salana, what do you think? Why would a Christian leave God and go to evil? Well, I think a Christian, what should we say? Christian, if they're going to leave God and go to evil, because a Christian should have faith mm -hmm. in God, and that moment when that Christian decides to turn to evil, mm -hmm. can we still call him a Christian? Question. <laughs> yeah, can we still call him a Christian? So if a Christian is involved mm -hmm. in spiritism, yes. is that person still a Christian? If God and go to No, I think that person yes. has yeah. lost their faith and uh, mm -hmm. 
Sometimes you know, not having a proper understanding of spiritism and the battle between good and evil can cause a strong person to just triple a bit. And I think that's where our program comes in tonight to, to be performed. Um, I think one thing that we, we, we need to establish as we go forward, what is spiritism? And uh, we, we want to attempt to give um, a, a definition you know, in terms of what spiritism is. Um, we're to to have it. What is spiritism? So spiritism, as defined by its founder, is the science dedicated to the relationship between incorporeal beings and human beings. Read it again. So spiritism, as defined by its founder, Alan Kardec, is a science dedicated to the relationship between the proper reality is evil is indeed sometimes. So before we bring up that we just want to judge people saying that um some person might be responding to the first question and are we agreeing or saying I'm trying to wait on God. I mean I think by the very brave one was saying um but so reading, yes, yeah, so these, these are reasons why even Christians might talk to evil, might talk to evil, or cause you out of this country's religion. Now, look at the definition, my friend. Spiritism is a science, and I think one thing that we should be doing to establish a way forward. What is an incorporeal religion? And I've been some research and the overall being and definitions have been that don't know about spiritism. So the one you see as spiritism is not So so the real the relation with the spiritism between the spiritism and human ideas for spiritism is not being transmitted properly to the relationship or relationship with God within this definition. Does that make us a spiritism? Satan and his things. So at the end of the day, 
we are always engaged in spiritual relationships with spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we are dabbling in evil. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean that we are dabbling in good. It's mm -hmm. the choice that we make. So, we are involved in the spiritual realm. Jump high, jump low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, we, we had that definition there. Um, so, would you, would you say that being in a relationship with God, mm -hmm. you know, you know, think about it, like people go to the Obia man and the Obia woman, yeah. as opposed to we go to church. Mm -hmm. do, do we see any? All right. So, we, before we answer that question, Brother Andy, we're just going to have um, a little break. Mm -hmm. Probably we, we're going to have um, a song that, that's going to play in the meantime while we try to rectify some audio issues that we might be having at this time so we just ask that you know just indulge with us for just a minute we know it's um a highly important topic and satan is very very busy but very soon we're going to rectify it thank you very much
Do you believe in ghosts, Ligaru, Jumbies, Witches, Baku, or any type of superheroes? I believe in no superheroes, but all these spiritual things you're talking about, the Ligaru, the Witches, and this kind of thing, they are work out witchcraft. Like in, so in my spiritual being, I know about this, but I don't deal with, with witchcraft. Okay. But it's real. No. Why not? Because them things and them ain't real. They ain't real. No. Have you ever heard the term spiritism? And if yes, what do you think it means? Spiritism is where you spare all your, all your body, your, your, after, your afterlife. This is the afterlife where you go. You leave a physical being go into the spiritual world. I just go into a lot of spiritual things. And I just see a lot of things. I just see a lot of things before, before it even happen. Yeah. And thing, but to me, I don't really believe in... It's not... Mostly, it's not what you believe in too, you know, it's what you know. Right, right, right. Sing, sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. because, imagine, eh, let, let, I will try to bring out to the Bible. Yeah. They're telling us, some people telling us, you know, well, you know, you have a lot of different religions and things. Yeah. And some of them just talk about spirit. But I don't believe in spirit, I don't believe in ghosts and anything. Like yeah. But, I could put myself in a way to be spiritual. Okay. You understand? I could. I could sit down, yeah. right, and you know like how people just do yoga and them thing. Yeah. I could sit down and talk to the Mosai and you know and them thing and them and it does happen. But I don't believe in this spirit and this. Thing. Do you believe in seance or obia or any form of medium that communicates with the dead? No. I never reached to them kind of. I never really shouldn't kind of hide it. Do you know any movie or song where they promote this, this speaking to the dead? No. What are your views on yoga and horoscopes? Well, I don't know. I don't know too much about yoga and horoscope, but listening to people people who speaking about them things and them, I learn a little from them. Mm. Yeah. Why Alan? Well. I know if, if I want to be touched by a spirit, it could happen. I can make it happen. Mm. True yoga? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> because True. it happened already. It happened to me already. Mm. I asked for it to happen and it happened. By doing yoga, you, you communicate with the spirits? Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Do you think uh, uh, somebody who believe in like the Bible but, but and you thing? Have to have a, you have to have a strong. Mm. If your mind is strong, they go, they go, um, they go mess with your head. Mm. Your mind has to be real strong, real. When I tell you strong, strong. Mm. Yeah, because. So, what you think? If people who believe in the Bible, you think they should practice those things? It's not really believing the Bible, you know. Mm. It's knowing, mm. because you go tell somebody you believe in God, and they go tell you they know God. Mm. You understand? So it's not really about believing, it's why you know. So, do you know of any movies or songs in which they promote this ideology of communication with the dead? Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yeah. Uh, what are your views on yoga and horoscopes? To be honest, I don't even believe in yoga. Yoga is not much about just stretching and just relaxing the muscles. You got to exercise. Mm -hmm. And hor horoscopes? Horoscopes. I don't really believe in horoscopes neither, so. Do you think Christians should practice any form of yoga? Nah. Why not? Well, read your Bible. It's better if you read your Bible than do yoga and exercise. Come closer with God, not closer with yourself. Well, to me, mm. I just practice it. Yeah. And I just get good results. Mm. Because I have a strong mind. Okay. Yeah. Alright, man. Alright, welcome back. We thank God so much for rectifying the audio problems that we had before. And we know that we are wrestling against, not flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. And yeah. Satan does not want this topic to go out tonight. Yeah. And again, friends, even now we're asking that you just share the page again. Invite your friends again. Let them know that, you know, an interesting and very important topic is, is about to happen tonight. And we want as much persons as possible to tune in and to view. Now, that was Street Talk, and we had some very, very, very interesting responses. You know, in terms of um, persons' um, involvement in spiritual activities, in terms of their knowledge of spiritual activities, and what their views were. 
and um, even the brother Kevin, as he did the interview, we, we saw that a couple of the responses took him off guard. Uh, but <laughs> nevertheless, even in the seeming humor, you know, there's a lot of serious and solid points that we can take away from there. Um, brother Andy, mm -hmm. you just want to tell us, um, just in about 30 seconds, where did spiritism originate? Well, it, it, it really originated from a statement that Satan made uh, in the Garden of Eden in speaking to Eve. Right. He said that you shall not surely die mm -hmm. and you will be like gods. Mm -hmm. And from these two statements is actually the backdrop from where spiritism actually arises from. Yeah. Uh, even up to today, um, people still believe that the dead loved ones are not really dead. Mm. It's one of the reasons why we have things like All Saints Day, oh, yeah. All Souls Day. Yeah. You go and light candles and put on your graves uh, where you wear certain items of dead loved ones believing that they will protect you you know, while you are living. So, um, so many of those of those things that we have today yeah. really stem from, from way back in the Garden of Eden yeah. we sit and made that two statements. So, point blank, friends, spiritism originated with Satan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Travis, mm -hmm. many times we go to funerals. Mm -hmm. Sister Andy. Yes. And you hear people come up and they give a tribute. Well, I know mommy is watching over me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, that is spiritism in the Bible, Andy. Sure. And you know, we have a doctrine in our church called the, the mortality or the immortality of the soul. Mm -hmm. And um, just to refresh those who might be viewing or persons who may not have known, we don't believe that when a person died and the soul travels, but a living human being is a soul. Yes. And we can find that in the Bible. Yes. Because when God breathed breath into the, the dust that he formed, yes. that's man when man became, became a living soul. So we are souls. Mm -hmm. yeah. When true. the body perishes, the soul ceases to exist. Yes. Um, when, when, when we look at Brother Andy, um, persons have a dream and they see mommy in it, mm -hmm. and mommy guiding them where to go. Mm -hmm. Is mommy really speaking to that person? Mm -hmm. Well, um, if the person is dead, they couldn't have spoken to you. So who? You see? So um, that's one of the interesting things. It has to be Satan. It couldn't have been the person. And um, until until we nail that down and we accept what the Bible says, mm -hmm. we will continue to be deceived and fall right. part of spiritism. Yeah. Yeah. Our only safeguard in relation to spiritism is to believe exactly what the Bible says. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, friends, again, a power point, the dead cannot talk with us. And as a matter of fact, the Bible says the living know that they will die, yes. but the dead know not anything. anything. So in other words, mommy died, daddy died, they can't speak to you. Um, your sister, your brother died, or you see them appear, Satan is actually playing tricks on you. He can bring them back in the form, he can recreate a smell, the sound of their voice. We know that Satan has a lot of power, but we know that the dead cannot communicate with the living. That's true. You know, Sister Landy, yes. there's a document that a lot of people read every day before they start the day. Mm -hmm. It starts with an itch. You know what I'm talking about? A H O horoscope. Yeah, that's true. And you know, depending on the planet they're from, they get a special, you know, form of guidance from the day, what mm -hmm. to do, where, where not to go. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people actually say that they were actually guided. Mm -hmm. Um, probably spared from accidents, they made an investment, they played the right lotto number and they actually won. Mm -hmm. Now, do we believe that God is in that mix? No. Can your planet guide you? No. No. No? Can't. no. So who is guiding you then? That is definitely the same person that been guiding them about the mother dying and coming back alive and so on. The same person that is impersonating their mother mm -hmm. in their dreams or visions mm -hmm. is the same person that is guiding them in that high school. Yeah, let us go back down to a little bit of history. Right. Um, in ancient times with the pagans, whenever somebody died, mm -hmm. they claimed that the soul go and live in one of the stars or the planets. Right. Mm -hmm. So the whole horoscope comes around where you believe that somebody up there is looking at you, you see? Mm. And all of those things are really myth that was established among the pagans. In fact, hence we read from the scriptures that the Bible told you, clearly we read the text, that whosoever practice those things should not be part of God's people. Right. Because God has actually had nothing to do with, with spiritism mm. in the least. Mm -hmm. So um and 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 secondly, 
um, just by passing because uh, spiritism is a really deep, deep subject. Yeah. And uh, hopefully next week we're going to talk some more about it. Yes. But um, and we're going to look at some of the local things that are that are really coming uh, uh, to us, like we have the yoga and um, yeah. we have the opia, <laughs> we have wow. the, the wearing of, 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 of some of the things that yeah. are going to protect us, we yeah. have the rings, yeah. we, 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 we have some of the books. Yeah. In fact, some of the some of the people who we adore mm. in terms of the music that they sing, we yeah. have um, the late um, Michael Jackson yes. and, and and Celine Dion. Yes. In fact, if you look at the song that come about with um with with with, with um this um the 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 word that sing in 1912, mm -hmm. um, the Titanic. 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 That song really has to do with spiritism. It has nothing to do with our story, mm. you see? But they put it in so fittingly yeah, yeah, that yeah. The, the hidden message remains hidden. Full for tough. Full for tough. We run after it, yeah, you know? Yeah. So um, these are some of the things that we're going to be dealing yeah. with um, even into next week as we look at it. You know what I watch? Satan real smash. Of course he is. When you look at, um, you know, one thing that's rampant in the Caribbean, no? love to and play with. Yeah. Have you ever stopped to look at some of the characters? Mm -hmm. Dirty Water, mm -hmm. Snake, mm -hmm. Vagrant, Spider, mm -hmm. all these dark objects and images and yeah. a lot of them are associated with evil, the yes. black bird. That's true. And persons might just be studying money but they will be actually involved in evil right there. Mm -hmm. Even when it seems like you just gamble in a, a simple way. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of dark objects. And right now, people, man, as they get paid, see, that's one of the longest lines in Grand Theory St. George's now. They want to line, they play with line. They, they have these different buildings now. And the windows are tinted. And so many persons are just they can, can't play along. And, and when you look at the color of the building, what color is this, Brother Travis? Yeah. Black. Mm -hmm. Actually painted in black. And it just shows what the, the, the color actually embodies, you know, what is about darkness mm -hmm. and you know that we are people of the light. That's you know, true. you know another one as a young boy, I actually thought it was innocent. Mm -hmm. You ever hear about that dream book, sister Alan? Dream book? Man, they have, if you see Dirty Water in the dream, brother Andy, yes. man, the dream book tell you what it means. Yes. If you yes. see two snake fights in that yeah. dream, yeah. it tell yeah. you what it means. Yeah. You know, if you see somebody walking naked in the dream book, the dream book translates. So in other words, some wise person wrote that book and it appears to be universal whatever dream you have that dream book can interpret it mm -hmm. and interestingly enough some people when they dream about big snake fighting lo and behold some enemy somebody try to do them something some fight some quarrel mm -hmm. and you know in smart ways satan is actually working mm -hmm. and it seems to actually be happening you know? just just a point of order now as you mentioned in our tour and some of the games that we play. Um, I just want to show you how, how, how subtle Satan really is. Now, he wants to get you to be involved in spiritism, but the main focus is having you win money. Yeah. You yeah, see? Yeah. So that which is important or that which you should know is not what is really presented up front. It's yeah, what you can have by playing those things and by yes. keeping your hand in spiritism. Right. And that was the same trick he tried on Eve. You see? He removed himself from the pit here and he pointed out to the fruit. If you only eat this fruit, mm. this is what will happen to you. Yeah. You see? But in truth and in fact she was actually communicating with a fallen spirit. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And he, he was able to hide himself like the Bible says he can transform himself like an angel of light. And in all of those subtle and sometimes simple things, we are actually dipping our hands in spiritism, communicating with fallen spirits, mm -hmm. and thinking that is quite all right. Yeah. I could also mention too, like you are speaking about like older folks or older folks who are being involved. Mm -hmm. Now let's bring it down to the youth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that the youth are involved in is like the same music, like mm -hmm. you mentioned. The only Musa involved in Michael Jackson know, but they have modern artists know that they are, mm -hmm. such as Jay Z, mm -hmm. such as Beyonce, such as um, Help Oh my God, Rihanna. Yeah. Rihanna, mm -hmm. such as um, you know, modern day artists yes, that yes. they are interested in, and those modern day artists came out specifically saying that 
hey, we get our inspiration from Satan himself. They actually mm -hmm. admit it. Mm -hmm. And they actually say the way they get it and how he influenced them to sing so well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet for all these young people these days, hear these things and still listen to the music and enjoy it. Yeah, well. I mean, yeah. we, we, we asked the question before, some Christians that might be involved in spiritism and not know it all, know it. Mm -hmm. They are knowing that these people are involved in spiritism and still listen to the, the, the music. Mm -hmm. Are they still Christians as you were saying before? Another thing they're involved in too is things like, um, we mentioned yoga, but we also have karate. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that karate is just self-defense, you don't know how to defend yourself and so on. As they go higher in the ranks in karate, mm -hmm. you have to do certain things as meditation, mm -hmm. clearing up your mind, which in sometimes lead to the devil filling yourself. Because the Bible said, um, we're supposed to be renewing our minds yeah. and not clearing it. Mm -hmm. And if for all, they're telling us to clear our minds yeah. and that is a, like a, a, a welcoming station for the devil to infiltrate that person. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful of a lot of modern day things yeah. what youth find themselves yeah. in. And you know, um, one, one of the, the popular trends that, that um, I think rampant in the, the black community, even in the Caribbean, uh, this thing about building empires and about I, mm -hmm. the God in me, and mm -hmm. I could do this and I'm, I'm taking charge of my life. Mm -hmm. And you see the young ladies, I don't need a man, I could do this all by myself. And the men, I could do this all by myself. And it's about me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I'm going to educate myself, I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on positive things. And the universe is going to rearrange positive things for me. You ever heard about that? Mm -hmm. Whatever you throw to the universe, you mm -hmm. get it back. You think this is going to happen. And um, the, the law of what, what do you call it? No, I, can't I, I, I can't remember the, the name right now. Probably next week we're going to share that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of self empowerment might actually seem good. But the source of power and motivation comes from self. Mm -hmm. And we know that God reminds us that we are simply the branches and He is the vine. If we are not connected to Him, then we can't do anything. So if you are not connected to God, you are not really connected to yourself, you are connected to the other spirit. Yeah. But what about, what about the tattooing of the skin? Mm. Um, quite a number of us don't understand how in depth uh, these tattoos go with spiritism. Right. In fact, a lot of times we wear tattoos and we don't even know what they mean. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But um, those things are really ingrained in spiritism. And... Um, Quite all of us. Another way of it, and, and, and like our beloved brother mentioned, the youth. Yeah. And if you notice, most of our young people are running into tattoos. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. see? Um, we come across quite a number of individuals going and pray for people who come down with demand possession mm -hmm. and so on. And uh, where do they get it? Some of them from a simple tattoo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So um, we, 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 we up against a very serious, serious detrimental evil called spiritism and we're just scratching the surface of it. I just want to touch yoga as we you know we just um transition as we get ready for next week. We know that we we just wet in your appetite yeah. so that next week you're gonna come back hungry as ever. But yoga. You know yoga deals with a lot of meditation and um, it has a lot of about balance the body, mind and the spirit. And many times if you Google yoga mm. and spiritualism you would see these stones balance out of one another. So it's about getting in sync with yourself and the universe and you can unlock a lot of power. Mm -hmm. You actually see people, they have up behind in different signs, um, the hands folded like that and they're floating. Mm -hmm. But we know humanly it is not possible to float. Mm -hmm. um, whether you want to call it higher meditation, deeper meditation, only one of two persons can give you power. Mm -hmm. If you're not focusing on God, again we bring it right back to Satan. Um, the poses in yoga. Right. I was just going to mention like, mm -hmm. it have like a, a wave going around now, like right. having yoga poses and a lot of youth are doing it as well. Right. So different poses, like things that are hard to do mm -hmm. and they, they call it like a challenge. Right. And um, the thing about yoga poses is that back then for the Hindu gods, that was how they, they, they show their respect to the Hindu God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we doing it is replicating what they're doing. Yeah. And yes. only respect that we should be given is to our God, God the Father in heaven. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know So it might seem as a form of exercise. And we are not saying that there are no benefits to you, especially physically. It's like a form of you could stretch, you could 
but being involved in the, the circle or the, the practice of yoga itself, it's something that will transition into higher, higher, higher spiritual realms that has nothing to do with God. So we say yes, Christians exercise. Of course, we promote temperance, taking care of your body. But be careful, you know, what spiritual line yourself. Interestingly, carnival is here, a lot of people want to get fit. Um, they, they, they go to Grand and say, people sweating and they go, go to exercise. But what's the music driving them? If you take on the music, you think, you think the exercise will be so exciting? You think so many persons will be there? What do you think? Nah. <laughs> you understand? So you see how, as Brother Andy rightly said, Satan mixes good with evil. Um, now, even in um, normal gyms, you want to do aerobics. What's some of the music playing? So calm. Mm -hmm. all, all these kind of worldly songs. So, mm -hmm. the, the, the more you, you know, you, you, you want to do good things, Satan always mixes it. Mm -hmm. And somebody might say, well, I'm focusing on my exercise. I'm not just talking about the music. But we know that the music goes deeper than the subconscious mind. And so then it's what gives you the energy and the, the enthusiasm that we have. So spiritism, you know, in many small and even big practices, they are there. Mm -hmm. Sister Landa, you remember this one Charlie, some Charlie thing with mm -hmm. pencils and with well, yes. children? You know, um, as a teacher, that was rampant mm -hmm. at a certain period of time. And then I was just so scared because... I heard the children actually practicing it, you know. Right. And right. me and the teacher I know the outcomes that you can have. So yeah. me and the class said, well, boys and girls, don't play that game. And they were little, little ones. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like the things, the media, yeah. all these things can be circulated so fast. Yeah. And our children these days, you know, the modern children we have, mm -hmm. hooked on gadgets. Yeah. And these things are just transferred rampantly and the children just get engaged and it is like it just simply they practice it mm -hmm. but they don't know the outcomes yeah 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 and uh, i know we had a letter sent around mm -hmm. in churches to say yeah, to stay away from that abstain from that practice mm -hmm. and for me when that happened i was in barbie just studying at mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. and the things that happened in those primary schools and secondary schools was so it had like a whole set of students being demoted and they had to bring in pastors mm -hmm. and, and the, the teachers and they were so scared and they, they were crying and it was a whole havoc, like yeah. it was bad, bad man, yeah, but it was a yeah, So we just have to be careful of things that we take part in because, mm -hmm. you know. I want to just point you know, when Travis spoke earlier on, but that kind of really part, but it's amazing how spiritism has become an entertainment. You know, many of us watch that famous show, you know, America's Got Time, mm -hmm. and we see all those famous magicians coming on stage. Mm -hmm. There was one time I actually saw a guy, he elevated his body. Mm -hmm. And I'm in amazement of, did that happen for real? And people, the audience were like, oh! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the devil practices thing right before our eyes, but we are on our way. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, we innocently get hooked on these shows and we watch these things and mm -hmm. we don't know the whole background of how things happen behind yeah. those shows yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we just follow after it Definitely. so we yeah. have to be careful in not being deceived Final point, and we're not discussing it tonight. I want to challenge all our readers. Go on YouTube. Look at some of the um, quote-unquote healings that you know you see in churches. Um, I've actually seen one where a man, a pastor, is beating people with his jacket, and there seems to be some kind of explosion on the jacket. They're just pitching, falling down. Also, look at look at that during the week, and we will discuss it next week. 
can spiritism actually come in from the pulpits? No, the church was to receive God where God is lifted up, we follow the scripture, but Satan has even formed himself in churches as well. Mm -hmm. And even all of these healings that happen, you know, this sensational man, entertainment broadcasted through social media, we also have to be very, very careful with them. So that's our assignment for next week. Read and we're going to have some discussion next week. So at this time, we get ready for our next special music. So tune in as we are blessed. But before we have that item of music, we're going to um, just have our, our prayer session. We're going to go to God. We're going to take our requests. And of course, we know what our topic is for tonight. It was spiritism, dabbling in the unknown. Mm -hmm. We want to pray that God will guide his children, guide his people. And if there are any um, special prayer requests from our online audience, we're going to take it. Um, we see somebody said on Benny Hinn. I didn't want to call it him, but you said it. You, you can Google it. Benny Hinn and that famous jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so you, you can send your prayer requests as we you know, get ready to wind down. And we, we had a lot to tickle your mind for the next week's program. And again, we apologize for the little audio issues that we had. But thank God that you know, we rectified it and uh, things are, are much better. So while we wait on um, the request to come in, I think we, we can just first start by praying tonight for you know, God's wisdom. Mm -hmm. And we will always see God as a source of power, prosperity. And we, we will not you know, be swayed to go to the side of the enemy to get our heart's desires. Yeah. Let's pray. Father, tonight we thank you so much for information, inspiration, and even guidance. We thank you, God, that you have not left us ignorant or, you know, just neglecting, but you have given us principles that can guide us. We thank you for the power that we can find even in you, even as we move towards life. God, we know that sometimes in life we have disappointments. Sometimes you appear to fail us. Sometimes you want things that you are not granted to us. And the temptation is to go on the other side. Father, we pray tonight that you will grant us wisdom. We pray that you will sharpen our consciences. We pray that when even evil looks good, it looks promising, it looks affordable, we pray for God that we will always be on the side of right. Tonight we ask that you will forgive us for the time that we have strayed. The time when we probably would have judged others not recognizing that we have been entertaining spiritism in our very homes and even in our hearts. And tonight we pray that you will just cleanse our heart, cleanse our mind. And we pray that we have a hatred for the things of darkness and we have, you know, an affinity for the things of light. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, so brother, I think we ask that you will just say a final prayer for us, pray for all the audiences. We have not much per request tonight, but we want to remember them as we bring our cutting stuff. Father God, we have a neighbor as we bring the cutting down. Some of our viewers might have ignorantly been involved in some aspect of spiritism. Lord, we present them before you, we present ourselves before you, that you will give us the spirit of discernment, first of all. And secondly, you will teach us how to study your word and to obtain proper guidance so that we will guard ourselves from those evils. We ask in Jesus' name that you will be our only protector and our only guide. Amen. As we make our way to our various homes, we ask that you will bless us. We pray for all of those on the internet who have shared with us and who have keep, kept us company tonight. We ask that you will bless them richly. We're looking forward to seeing them next week again according to your will. So thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. And Lord, if there is anybody who is listening to us that is not enjoying the best of you, there might be individuals who have not yet been Sabbath keepers and they were invited to this program and we want to get to know some more about us. We ask, oh God, that you will provide the opportunity that we can study the word with them. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Friends, we want to thank you for from the bottom of our hearts for tuning in to, week, to youth life this week. And indeed, we pray that what was discussed tonight will really drive us and motivate us to do some more studying. And we pray that next week we'll have even more to talk about and discuss. Yes. So we pray that God will bless you on this Saturday. We pray for all those who will be having youth days and special programs, that God will bless you. And even those who will be going to church for the normal Sabbath programs, we pray that God will ref refresh you even in his presence. So have a pleasant night. 
And may the goodness and grace of God continue to abound in your life. Amen. And so tune into your life until next week. Amen. Amen. For you with contrite heart Humbly I surrender all that I am I want to learn from you Please draw me close to you Help me share your love and grace in all I do Lord, I come before you with contrite heart Humbly I surrender all that I am I want to learn from you Please draw me close to you Let me share your love and grace in all I do Oh Lord, transform me Change my heart completely to be more like you Others to trust and love you more.